Okay, today we're gonna try Goodness. Mm -hmm. ah. Basing material. It's going to be drywall spackle. Since I found my other one was dry, but a new one. Well, it's compound, really. Um, I'm thinking it's less chance. Better shelf life, maybe? Sand. I happen to have aquatic substrate from my fish tank. And this is what it wasn't used. And guess what? It kind of matches the same thickness. It matches the same density as this stuff. I don't regret buying this, but you know, I happen to have this. And cheap acrylic paint. Well, I have a lot of acrylic paint. I don't have any cheap stuff, so. Here we go. I also have pork bark. This is the leftovers I haven't used yet. And look at the stuff on the box. You can use all your leave-ins in this too. And all the tools. These are left over from when I was thinking about within the last decade. Uh, polymer clay stuff. This is what's left of the nail art kit. I used to have a whole bunch of them, but who knows what happened to them. Oop, tweezers. This one is from my real life kit. You can even see that. Old paintbrush. And yeah, I bought one. I haven't gotten the uh, sculpting tool set that I want to get, which is probably the price of a set of 12 is the same as this probably, but I wanted it. Got a stainless steel bowl. Happens to be from. I bought a bunch of them from Pet Show. None of my bugs are big enough really for it, so I've been using them as tray hobby trays. So it's pretty much equal parts. Oh, I would have, however you mix it up. And my black pigment. Liquitex. How old is this? I could probably look up when I started buying these, but I want to say over 10 years, and it's still in pretty good condition. Let's go. I should have gloves for this. We're going to take caution to the wind. Oh, some water, because I think if I wet my tools in water will be less sticky. Oh, and for comparison, because <laughs> we have two different models we can do today. At least they're So I'm thinking they are red and these are going to be black or I could do black with white highlights on this or red for them because they are blue bodied so red might be really interesting. So we will try this stuff first. Um. Mm -hmm. 
some of it's runny, some of it's not, so maybe I should shake it up just a little. Quite messy. I don't know, it's really runny. I need to have a lot more sand. So I think I'm going to mix some with sand. Let's get a sink. Yeah, it's all it's the same consistency all over. Let's get a paper towel, shall we? Palette paper. Someday I'm going to get a bigger version of this page. Try this again. Let's see how far I can take this stuff. It's already holding up.
to get any on him. But failing. <laughs> yeah, I should put him on a base holder. Anything that's white, well, it's gray, really. The sand is kind of white. We'll have to see how this dries. Very impressive, but something. How much was that paint? I don't know. But we'll let him dry. We'll come back to him later. We'll clean up and come back with the other Okay. Thing. We're ready with more paper towels. Almost got all of it out. Here's our sand. Here's that cork bark bits I was just talking about. Fun stuff. Here's just little pieces. Like that would go into an enclosure for enrichment. But these, you know, they're awesome. And I have normal cork too. I just didn't bring it here. I might show I might use it for a bigger stand. <clears throat> Let's try this. Hopefully we won't make a huge mess. I'm gonna end up maiming this guy for these guys. Here's his new joint. Spackling compound. Supposedly it cleans up with water. So I think the majority of it is this though. Probably a little too much for this project. too much paint. I kind of don't want to use the... Well, eventually I'm going to get the bigger version of these, but... At least I know acrylic paint will eventually dry. Oh, it's gray. That's a lot of goop. 
nice goop. Warms uh, soft peaks, maybe softer peaks. A little daring. So I have tons of this. Trying not to get it all myself. So you can make a ton of it pretty quickly. Let's add some sand. I think we added a little too much sand to the other one, but find some finer grit sand for this but my goal was to use what I had and normally I, I carry spark uh, spackle I also have a tube of silicone clear silicone 100% silicone in my toolbox look at that it's a pretty nice muck Hope I don't get anything. Let's go over get the glasses. Start from the back. I need some more light since it's so dark. I think, I think it's a dotting tool. good. Again, I'm wishing I
There's some interesting effects on the paper, though. useful if I <clears throat> would have been useful if I left some of the spackle without some of the grit to fill in other holes. I'm liking the effect. Yeah. I know they're hard to see. Come on, little guys. Don't focus. And they're really hard to capture, but once that's dried, I'll come back with the uh, dry brush, see what happens. But I didn't get any on their bodies, really, just a little bit on their feet. <laughs> but I didn't make a mess, so I'm happy about that. We'll return once these are dry. So here's the Citadel. A lot drier, a lot uh, chunkier, because it's very thin compared to the other stuff. Uh, very rocky looking. I like the look. Here's the home brew. Uh, less chunky, more smooth. I could probably use more sand in the next version of it, but very held on. It's, I like this too. I mean, it's hard to pick. Look at how like my extra homemade stuff dried. It, it's pretty cool. It's completely matte. Like I could barely see it. I had to keep checking. I'm happy the camera picked it up. On the inside, it's like a gooey browny consistency. So it's still pretty wet on the inside. I'm glad I waited a long time for the bases to dry because look at this. I'll say this stuff took longer to dry than the stuff from Citadel, but the Citadel stuff kept falling off like there wasn't enough binder there to hold everything together so I had to use some high flow medium which is essentially just watered down acrylic medium uh, poured it all over the base and that held it together so pretty good kind of awesome I feel awesome actually <laughs> yeah So I'm deciding to dry brush. This is Gal Warback Red. And I am dry brushing on the reddish. I mean, here it looks kind of brown, the base. It's the Citadel Technical Paint. I think it's Martian Landscape. Uh, I do have a lot of reds in my arsenal because I have um, Magnus to eventually paint. But uh, I don't know, this is very purpley looking. I should have gone for a different red, but I'm also using white. This would have watered down, but I know that if you put white in red, it turns to pink. So I'm being very judicious with it.
So I found dry brushing a little, a little frustrating. When you're actually doing it, it it's hard to tell if you're having any effect. You really have to rewatch the video just to see if you're causing any change. So watching this, I'm like, yeah, there's change. But when I was doing it, I just, I just couldn't tell. And I don't think I have bad eyes either. So uh, I'll get used to this when I brush dry, dry brush more things. But wow, I don't know. And I think I used Abbott on black to um, clean up my base edge. I like the black. I do like the black. Yeah, it looks kind of purpley on the base, but it kind of goes with the um, with the blue meanie there. Yeah, I kind of like this. Dry brushing on black is a lot easier. I decided just to start with black and white and mix a couple medium colors, colors, shades, grades. I don't know what you would call them. But uh, I think my first step down from black is a little too dark. Uh, painting it in person, it seemed a little lighter. Once I top it off with the white, it really comes together. I'm really happy with this. And here are my results of the dry brushing. I'm really happy with it. And I did finish painting the base off with black. To finish off, you need a little bit of tuft of tufts. Um, I've got the wasteland version, which is very dark and then light on the top. Then I have scorched tuft, which was a kind of surprise because they're pretty much the darkest brown I've ever seen. And the PC Resistance Brimstein fire grass. I was very excited to pick this up. So I was incredibly surprised it was folded in half. I'm I know, it, I think it's about $13 I paid for this, but I think I got twice as much grass um, than the Army Painter. And I think the Army Painter is normally about $7. So I'm really happy to get this red stuff. So I decided red's going on the black base and the wasteland tuff, which is the ones that are pretty much burned and nothing, is going to go on the uh, reddish purpley base.
So fighting with these tufts was actually not so annoying. Um, they did need a very good uh, haircut because they are gigantic next to either of these uh, horrors. And this guy turned out way better than I even hoped for. I'm really happy. The red tufts were a way bigger fight. Um, they were, I mean, it's nice that they're bushy, um, but these guys were so little. <sighs> yeah. So these guys are so tiny, I may go back and trim a little more. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the effect. The red goes with their little bodies. And uh, make, this makes them so, it's not super different, but it, it very vibes with the actual miniature that's on the base. So this was a good experiment. I now have three completed miniatures under my belt. I have many, many more to go, and that'll be quite a while. So thank you for watching and thank you for bearing with me. Till next time. Last minute edit, a couple weeks after I filmed most of that video, I finally finished them. I guess the only thing I need to do is to seal them, but that would protect them from dust. Um, I didn't trim any of the other bushes except for the first two I did that I showed. I, I am happy with my work. Yep. So thanks again for sitting through this video. Till next time.